Falls, the title is the most dangerous state for bicyclists, according to AAA. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez caught up with a dedicated bicyclist here in the Bay Area who has cycled through major cities all across the country and explains what he says works in other cities that could make the roads safer here at home. I ride my bike usually like 100 to 200 miles per week. Ross Holcomb cycled the streets of Boston, Seattle, even Vancouver. Tampa, as far as I've traveled around the country, has about average cycling infrastructure. Holcomb tells me dedicated bike lanes from a suburb into town, similar to what's done in Boston, could be beneficial here in the Bay Area. A city that really sticks out to me as maybe the most bike friendly that I've visited is Vancouver, British Columbia. And they have even gone so far as to turn certain neighborhood streets into cycle streets only. They'll have these like concrete barricades that are wide enough for bikes to get through, but not cars. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the Tampa Bay area has one of the highest rates of pedestrian fatalities among metro areas in the country. On average, one pedestrian and one bicyclist are involved in a crash every single day. Here on Bayshore, the bike lane is maybe three to four feet wide, and then there's just that narrow paint strip. So if cars are driving right up on on the paint strip, they're right next to you on the bike. It's not necessarily that we don't have the infrastructure here. It's that it's the drivers that kind of make you not feel like you want to use the infrastructure. Changing the attitude between drivers and cyclists here in the Bay Area is something I'm told is actively in the works. That's kind of a major effort that, that has been underway for, for several years now. Recognize that, you know, they, they're they responsible to make sure that they're looking out for, for the vulnerable users, the pedestrians and bicyclists. And so that's kind of a culture change for Americans, um, but it's something that people in the transportation profession recognize is really important. Those efforts include increasing the number of protected bike lanes throughout the city and additional pavement and signage for shared lanes. I think maybe there's an aspect of build it and they will come. If more people were out cycling and car drivers were more used to it, I don't think it would become this rare thing. In Tampa, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.